Hi there lovely people, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's around 10.45 here, approaching towards midnight. Hopefully you're doing good. I have two uh, reviews for you today. Both are gonna be uh, Middle Eastern houses, okay? And these houses, uh, you guys are know they're very renowned, they're very up class. Basically, they are uh, luxurious fragrance houses. But uh, I would like to do the one I haven't done uh, review before actually i'm going to re-review one of the fragrance from rasasi that is hawas 2021 batch please do check it out uh, for those who are interested in that perfume but very first episode i'm going to do is abdul samad al Qureshi safari extreme and this is the limited edition i am very very excited to tell you this is going to be a long video uh, i don't know how long it's going to run but i have to tell everything i want to say so this is a fragrance that you know dream come true fragrance last few months i've been buying some fragrances like uh, angel share you know then i did buy some of the you know arabian wood perfumes and i did review this particular fragrance safari extreme some two three years back 2019 you know i did review safari extreme the original version the heavy heavy bottle check out my review that was from this angle towards that side okay and i did review uh their heritage blend atar and then abdul samad kurishi al jazim spore and then makan blend or makka blend these things i reviewed and then the safari pure perfume oil by abdul samad al kurishi thanks to all my brothers who lend me their bottles so uh my uh very first reason for this fragrance review to be special this perfume to be special is that i wanted this perfume for a very long time i've been trying to get it it's super expensive the first a version the original safari extreme is so expensive 200 plus dollars for 75 mil uh, that is very high price for me but this particular one it's a lot more affordable less luxurious in terms of presentation but the juice is equally good so i'm very excited to give you my initial impression but before i start i have to give some credit to certain people okay uh, first of all brother uh, shazil malik i think brother Sh shazil malik bhai uh, he is my senior brother in fragrance community he's from originally from Pakistan, but he lives in, I think, Middle Eastern countries, I think Dubai, maybe. Uh, yeah, he lives in Dubai, UAE. So this brother, he's a gem of a reviewer. Please, I'll leave his channel link below. Uh, and his channel is called Sent On. I'm talking a lot for a good reason. You will understand why. This guy, he actually reviews so many perfumes in both Urdu uh, that people in Pakistan, India, Bangladesh can understand. Also, Middle Eastern countries, people, a lot of speak, people speak Urdu and then in English as well, how much effort he puts and he reviews so many perfumes that people should go and watch. So I'll leave a link below uh, of his channel. Please go and see a lot of Middle Eastern perfumes, a lot of awesome uh, gem of perfumes he reviewed. So his channel basically reviewed this perfume. I think only one review or a couple of reviews, not many reviews on this perfume. So I'm very, very thankful that I got this. And thanks to Stop and Shop BD, now they have changed their page. I'll leave a link below where you can buy it in Bangladesh. Uh, so it's an expensive fragrance still, but it's actually now less price and more juice. That is a great thing. Uh, another thing is this fragrance, now they made it. Why did they make a special uh, edition or uh, limited edition? Uh, because this fragrance, I think it's now uh, not really widely available. Sometimes you get it, it's a bit rare to find. You have to order online. You cannot really sometimes Go to the store and find it readily available okay so i'm lucky to find one if you find one you are lucky too so let's see the review after long talk uh this is suffer extreme okay uh, once again 90 ml this is i think limited edition uh edp concentration 80 percent volume it's very very concentrated trust me and uh, this is made in uh, saudi arabia ksa and this is abdul samad al Qureshi asaq okay in short uh safari extreme basically is a very popular perfume very heavy thick uh kind of like people call it a mix i call it personally a mix between uh, tuscan leather and uh, tobacco vinny uh, because they have two properties but the leather here is not really obvious that there's not mention of leather and fragrant because they have only suffer extreme but not this limited edition they haven't enlisted it so the bottle here it's lovely look at that it's a lovely little bottle but they did change the presentation so i will post the link below of my older reviews uh they actually the video, it will show you how heavy and how posh the box and bottle used to be. Uh, very, very uh, expensive, very heavy, but half the price you pay for the presentation crystal bottle. These are more normal glass, uh, thick bottle base, but okay. Juice color is eye-catching orange and it has have like a cool water sort of side, okay. And the cap is very beautiful, artistic, as you expect from uh, this house. There's a sticker at the base, but there is a quality, uh, little bit of issue here because i try to take it out 
So this part is like sometimes comes off with the cap. You know, you have to put it back and then that's it. It's not a major issue. Sprayer is very, very good. Cap, as Sergio has said, it's metal but not very heavy. It has decent weight to it, but um, the Makka blend or Safari Extreme, those caps are humongous. So the dry down is here. I've been wearing this all day. So let me do a fresh spray. And these are very potent, but I'll still do it. Okay, just let me go a little bit. This fragrance, it clicks onto place the cap. You can pick it up, no problem. So let the sell down. This perfume I wanted, I've been waiting for two years. You know, I want to review this. I want people to know about this perfume. And a lot of people are actually interested in fragrances like a Middle Eastern perfume, like oud-based perfume, something, you know, Middle Eastern, because people know that heavily concentrated. People love fragrances like these, uh, Kalimal Black or Asil Special Edition or even like Mancera trying to produce gold intensity vow. This kind of perfume, if you love this right here, Safari Extreme, it's gonna be a love for you, okay? Uh, this perfume basically has quite few notes. I'll let you know what I get. So I think from the notes breakdown of Rasasi, not Rasasi, Safari Extreme, basically what you get is florals. You get, uh, I think, saffron, spices, perhaps vanilla. There is oud, I think there is oud, maybe, yeah. And then there is also uh, orange flower, that neroli orange blossom that sort of a thing so that's kind of combo as far as i remember but what i really get from this is when you spray it first time it's the blend is unbelievable okay i'll compare this with my memory memory of my uh the safari extreme old version but let me tell you about this one first this one i think the longevity of this is just you know it's you just need one spray and this is a cold weather perfume to be honest but if you go with half a spray under your shirt or on your shirt, if you like the smell, you can get away with wearing this all year round. No problem. This is a unisex perfume, I feel, but the saffron is very, very prominent. First thing you notice is saffron. Uh, it's very strong, prominent, and with the saffron, side by side is there's the floral. And what floral? I don't know exactly some floral notes. At, as well as that uh, opening is that orange blossom. You can almost smell that orange, like the fruity orange. There's an orange smell there and uh, neroli and orange blossom basically is the same it's a little bit powdery this one has a thickness of it so i think it will be backed up by vanilla just like safari extreme <clears throat> or makan blend but it's a lot more upper class than makka blend or makan blend the same thing they change the name um, if you do like makka blend this is an upgrade okay this perfume let me sorry let me show you this is an upgrade okay this is an half day at least easily you can get if you put it on your jubba or your dress uh, but cold time, cold weathers, you just put two to three, you can absolutely enjoy it. It will develop so naturally. So this basically is not a clone of anything. If you are wondering, like, if I have many people compare, let me just go side by side, ST Dupont Van Line Leather, they compare that with Asil Special Edition. I'll tell you one thing, there is difference in quality of ingredients. Okay, You can smell it when you actually been in the game for a few years, so you can smell the quality. This quality, first of all, it's A+. Plus, okay, You are paying uh, for the quality ingredients and also the fixative use very nicely. There's nothing alcoholy, nothing plasticky, nothing cheap. Those kind of things are not here. You're not going to find it. This is a rich, uh, beautiful, uh, heavenly floral perfume. There is dominance of florals. Yes, if you do not like florals, you won't enjoy this. Uh, so comparison to the original Safari Extreme, the 75 mil versus this, one uh, number one difference is the bottle quality and the box quality what you get from this this is a very simplistic look presentation okay but do not be sad because you don't need the bottle in my humble opinion uh one of my brothers adit tobai dropped the bottle and broke it because it was too heavy so it can be really painful also carrying it everywhere it's like about one and two kilo one and a half kilo like that so heavy you don't need that this is very nicely balanced weight is good and bottle feels solid Second difference between this and the other one, the first one is I think it's less thicker floral as far as my memory serves. That oil version and the 75 mil were supremely like blast of vanilla and then so uh, not just powdery, it was like a lotiony kind of thickness, you know, and that was super uh, beast mode and potent. I couldn't take it in my room, but this one I spread, I can take it. It's a lot more, it almost feels like honey. You know, there's like a honey added note, something sweet, and it's so beautiful. There's like an amber perhaps in there. So gorgeous royalty. This is more versatile, okay? This is why I'm saying that original version, 75 mil, the original Safari Extreme, it's going to be too much, but this is going to be good. So the price for this, $120, $130, around that price range, I think, uh, as opposed to $220 for 75 mil, this is 90 mil. 
so it's a no brainer you know like you be thinking like why what did they do in this so sajil bhai said in his video in the comment section that perhaps they are trying to make it more reachable for people they giving more juice and less uh, luxurious bottles so people can afford it they can reduce the price tag and he said also maybe during the tough times you know like corona and all that so they are trying to you know cash in uh, i perhaps that could be a case i also would add maybe they are trying to make it more uh, versatile maybe they put the 75 ml and then they you know made it a little bit more transparent more not thinner but a little bit more transparent to make it more reachable more affordable and a little bit more juice so you get 15 ml more juice 100 ml will be just nice but then we cannot be too greedy uh, so these are the difference i noticed this is uh, ultra beast mode okay you do not want to go four five six sprays don't do that then you'll destroy the beauty of this fragrance okay um perhaps do not also spray this on your white jupa or shirt it will leave a nice little mark could be permanent that could be a permanent damage who is it for match your crowds match your noses man every time this i am kidding you not kidding you okay this literally feels like you are in heavens and i haven't been to heavens but it feels like gardens of heavens that's how they would smell like lot of beautiful florals tulips yellow florals roses man there is this just distinctive floral note that is uh, just lovely yeah you know usually i always say try before you buy but if you want to blind buy something on a blind buy something like this and it was well worth like 100 something 120 30 dollars it's like not cheap you know so i am not the richest guy out there and i did blind buy this you know because i had faith in this okay so all this inch impression this is whole day i could smell my arm so perfection in longevity projection uh, opening no syntheticness perfectly blended high uh, perfume quality in this the oils everything in there is just top notch okay so what you're not getting is that heavy box like tom ford tuscan leather sort of boxes and they're not the heavy crystal bottle and also perhaps you're not getting uh, the thickness that used to be that my memory is serving as per my memory serves it's a lot more wearable it's a lot more sweeter uh and the the vanilla whatever the base you know the florals it does feel like very wearable so where is the leather that reference to leather i always say there is a feel like leather like tuscan leather i do have tuscan leather when i did say in my review uh, fragrantica that this smells a bit like a uh, hybrid between of uh, tobacco veni and tuscan leather the vanilla okay from the tobacco veni the spices from there and the tuscan leathers leather and a little bit of petroleum vibe but this is much less with that uh, petroleum vibe so it's less uh, daring okay um where can we, you wear this you can wear this for your eid day your wedding day special day rainy day when you're going for a holy mission or perhaps trips you know uh, where it's beautiful it's a polar country this is going to be the perfect for you you know like we don't have quite nice winters um but if you are actually in pakistan india nepal the living by the mountains you will absolutely enjoy this this is literally smells of heavens okay so a lot of perfumes i always uh, say they are good this and that or i actually hype a lot also this is something i would not hype i would just say if you have to blind buy one perfume you can blind buy this that good okay uh, 10 would be a understatement out of 10 okay <laughs> you see my sentiments uh suffer extreme limitation guys buy this perfume if you always wondered and i really hope many more reviewers will look at this and uh, uh talk about this because the quality in this you know you're paying hundreds of dollars for niche perfume these are niche perfume these are true niche perfume these are wealth these are treasure okay from middle east to you if you can find this somewhere let's say 150 bucks it's worth the money you pay 30 ml black afghano for hundreds of dollars i'm not bashing them anasemato but check out the juice they are 30 ml extra day perfume yeah but they last the same time you know so beautiful perfume beautifully crafted they don't usually release their uh, perfumers name so i respect that rasa si arm of their own they have the in house perfumers they don't want them to be stolen i guess <laughs> so yeah try this perfume if you like the description i gave you it's a smell of heaven so lovely lovely even if you do not like florals you might enjoy this because there's a lot more going on it's a complex sweet uh spicy and not too spicy not too much of anything it's just a gorgeous royalty it smells like uh, perhaps uh, liquid gold yeah it it there the oud in this whatever it is top notch okay so 
I said 10 out of 10 is understatement. This is a 20 out of 10. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Nadir Bhai, Sakib Nadir Bhai, for bringing this in Bangladesh. Last time I missed out. But uh, those who want to buy, buy this, at least try it. You know, okay, let's just see if you have excess. Just try it. If you like the, if you have similar taste like mine, you enjoy this. If you did enjoy uh, Asil Special Edition, these kind of fragrances are in the same family, you know, same vein. Kalimat Black, this kind of perfumes goal intensity of out okay so i did a very long video today after a long time because i want to sing praises of this perfume uh disadvantage one disadvantage this fragrance may not be the most versatile super high heat do not pull this off do not spray it will become nuclear it will choke you okay so when the sun is up okay or it's 48 41 42 degrees this one would be a good mistake <laughs> good mistake you see so that's the one thing but apart from that the price is justified guys you can pay a lot more than much less quality with a lot of niche or designer perfumes hardly you'll get quality like this okay safari extreme limited edition perfection beauty in a bottle everything about it is gorgeous okay so thank you very much for watching i hope i didn't miss any point and uh, i hope many other reviews come out and i want to see their take have a nice day let's move on to the hawas review Bye bye